Shaving is a part of most men's grooming routine, and uh, I think that's an obvious statement. But today, I wanna run you through a proper shaving routine to make sure that you can avoid skin damage and shaving irritation, such as razor bumps, ingrown hairs, and redness. I told you guys last week that the most common shaving issues that I have are the razor bumps that I sometimes get under my neck area and general redness, including that tuggy feeling on my cheeks when I finish shaving. I also mentioned that I've teamed up with Gillette and I would be testing out their new skin guard razor and giving you guys an update on how well it worked, which we'll talk about in a bit. But first, let's talk about how to go from this face full of fuzziness to this. Nice and sharp razor lines and most importantly, irritation-free skin. Now, I personally like just a tiny bit of stubble outlining my face and a little under my lips and above my lips. So the first thing that I do, and this is optional, uh, if you go fully clean shaven, you don't have to do this, but I take an electric razor without a guard and trim all of my hair down. Doing this on dry skin is way easier when it comes to an electric razor. Like I said, I basically like the tiniest amount of stubble, which is why I do this without any guard at all. An electric razor will never trim your hair as close as a manual razor, so I'll still be left with a very small amount of stubble by the end of this process. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that you soften up your skin with warm water. Personally, I always shave in the shower. I've got a shower mirror that doesn't fog up. It's perfect, it makes the whole shaving process super simple and clean, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be shaving over the sink. Warm water really helps to open up the pores and make your hair softer, which helps ease the shaving process. And the longer that you apply warm water, the softer and easier it will be to shave, which is another reason why I like shaving in the shower, because by the time I get to my shave, my face is nice and prepped. And after that, you gotta lather up. When it comes to your options, the most popular are either shaving creams or shaving gels. I personally like gels because they don't appear as thick on my face, and that just allows me to see that outline that I was talking about a little bit more easily. If you're going for the clean shave look, then you can opt in for either a shave gel or a cream, whatever you prefer. This pure shaving gel from Gillette is free from alcohols, dyes, parabens and sulfates which are all factors that can aggravate more sensitive skin and it's also got aloe that helps to ensure you're minimizing irritation like redness and itchiness just don't be that guy that just uses water on his face and then goes in for a shave a good shaving gel is going to provide much needed lubrication for your face and just make the whole shaving process so much smoother and after that it's time for the shave itself now like I said I've been testing out the skin guard razor for the past week and spoiler alert I really like it the grooming tool that you use is the biggest factor when it comes to the shaving sensitivities like razor bumps and ingrown hairs. I mean, obviously it's what you use to get rid of hair. Most razors don't have a guard like this blue skin guard comb here and actually end up cutting your facial hair below skin level, which not only increases tug and pull on your skin, but also allows your hair follicle to curl back into itself. And that's what causes ingrown hairs and razor bumps. The skin guard, on the other hand, just like the name implies, shaves hair to the surface level of your skin, which drastically reduces the chance of these shaving irritations that we just talked about the razor bumps and the ingrown hair. From my experience, the first time that I used this on my face, actually, I genuinely did a double take because it felt too smooth to actually be removing any hair. I basically didn't feel anything while I was gliding this over my face, but uh, as you can see, I mean, it's cleaned me up nicely. It's also worth noting that this doesn't give you the closest shave ever, and that makes sense because that means it's doing its job and protecting your skin by stopping the hair trim at surface level. However, as you can see from my results, the difference is virtually unnoticeable. So I just make sure to shave everywhere except the outline that I created. And when it comes to under the neck, if you're keeping any facial hair, just find the top of your Adam's apple and use that as the cutoff line. Shave below that line and leave the hair above. I will say since using the skin guard razor over the past week since my last video, I really haven't experienced any redness at all. And I think that's mainly because I'm not getting that pulley tucky feeling that I feel from other tools. And the ingrown hairs under my neck have significantly reduced. In fact, I think they're pretty much gone altogether. The tools that you guys use is the most important part of the process to achieving an irritation free shave. So if you guys want to check out the skin guard razor, you can find it in the link down below or at your nearest Walmart. I promise you it's not just hype. This skin guard razor actually works. Finally, to finish off your shaving routine, rinse everything off with cool water this time to close those pores back down and apply an aftershave balm. An aftershave balm will provide a thick coating of moisture to protect and soothe freshly shaved skin. If you guys get to know your skin type, follow the process and use the right tools, I promise that you will see a significant reduction in the shaving sensitivities that you're currently facing. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something useful today. And like always, I'm gonna see everybody Next time.